Lisa here. I'm back with another hair tutorial. I got some new products from Pattern Beauty. I went to their event. It was so beautiful. I was just stunned by everything. Tracy is the most elegant woman in the world. So I wanted to do a wash day because it was time. It's been a month. So I wanted to do a quick wash day, play around with some of her products. And then I also uh, got this ponytail. This is from Insert Name Here. And I, um, I just wanted to play around with it. I wanted to get a look, you know, get a little look. So yeah, if you guys want to see my quick wash day and how I did this pony, then let's get into it. Okay, so it's been about a month since I've washed my hair, so it's definitely time. So I'm gonna go ahead and saturate it with some water and really try to get it as wet as possible. Sometimes it's hard when you have a lot of product and build up for the water to really penetrate. So I'm just gonna try to soak it in as much as I can. So this is the travel kit from Pattern Beauty. It's the on the go kit. It has the shampoo, the conditioner, and also a leave-in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the hydration shampoo. It gently cleanses, hydrates, and honestly, it smells so good. It smells kind of a little bit floral, kind of sweet, kind of tropical. So I'm gonna start at the roots and uh, I'm actually gonna need a little bit more. You're gonna see I'm gonna do two washes because my hair really is so dirty. That one shampoo just isn't enough. So I'm gonna rinse that out. It's gonna be like my first shampoo to kind of get as much of the surface level dirt and, and product that I can. Rinse that out and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a second shampoo. And I'm pretty generous with the shampoo because I really wanna make sure I get a nice lather, which this actually does give me without the sulfates. So I'm actually, I love that. I love a good lather, I feel like it's working. So I'm gonna make sure to massage that onto my scalp and really get my scalp nice and clean. That's how you really help to promote healthy hair growth is to make sure your scalp is nice and clean and to really give your scalp a nice massage and then just working the lather onto the ends and the, the rest of my hair so that way I can really take out as much product and build up as possible. Take your time here, this is the best part. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse that out. My hair feels clean, but it's not stripped. It just feels really uh, just fresh, brand new. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the heavy conditioner. This is for coily hair. It's amplified hydration and nourishment for really curly, coily hair like mine. Super, super thick and buttery. This stuff is so nice and thick. I did notice that it doesn't have as much slip as I would normally like my conditioners to have, but it was so thick and rich and creamy that um, that kind of just made it better. I didn't really care. <laughs> it felt like a really nice, thick, buttery conditioner. So I'm gonna start to uh, just separate my hair in quadrants and I'm gonna take the shower brush. It helps to detangle and help curls find each other, quote unquote. Uh, I did notice that this was, had a lot of bristles and they were finely compact together, lots and lots of bristles. So it, it, it made the process a little bit more laborious than had I just finger detangled or used a wide tooth comb, but you'll see here. And I'm also sick, so I have absolutely no strength whatsoever. <laughs> so I'm gonna start the ends and work my way up to the roots. And you know, my hair is tightly curled, so you'll see it's a, it's a little bit of a struggle. But boy, did it really detangle. Like it got all the tangles out. So with the conditioner still in my hair, I'm just gonna go ahead and twist it up, move on to the next section. And it really helps me to keep my hair nicely organized. Um, if I kind of leave it all wild and free, it's, it defeats the purpose of doing the detangling. So you'll see here me struggling. And um, yeah, twas quite the struggle. But you know why? You know why I struggled so badly? Because I did not finger detangle. I kind of just went in with the brush. It's been a month and I just went in with the brush. So uh, the smarter future me will detangle first with my fingers or a comb, like like a smart, person would, and then go in to finally detangle with the brush. That's the process. That's what we were, that's what we should have did. 
So I'm gonna take out all the shed hairs. This is my hair for from a week, a uh, month, sorry. This is a month's worth of shed hair and struggling with the brush. But I wouldn't call that bad, That was that's not bad. So <laughs> gonna go ahead and rinse all of that out. And um, sometimes I'll just leave it like that and there'll be still like a little bit of products left in my hair. But if I want a really, really good rinse, what I'll do is I'll take out each twist one by one. I'm gonna go back in with the brush again, make sure I get all the tangles and then I'll go ahead and retwist under the water so that way it makes it really nice and easy to twist. And it'll also make the drying process a thousand times easier. So you'll see me doing that here, just really refining, making sure that I get all the conditioner out and that my hair is nicely detangled for the next step. And then once we have uh, it all rinsed out, I'm gonna go ahead and take the microfiber towel. This also is from Pattern Beauty. It's supposed to guard your curls while they dry. Um, I had a little bit of struggle here because I wasn't sure about the shape. I'm used to a rectangle, this is a square. <laughs> so once I figured that out, uh, I just made sure to wrap my hair with it. It has such a great texture to it. So it's like a microfiber, but it's a little bit different. And this is gonna help so that way your hair and your curls aren't snagging to the towel. Helps to prevent frizz. So I'm tucking that in and we're ready for the next step. Hello, Lenny. Okay, so out of the shower, um, I had to run and get some coffee. Had to get some coffee. I, last night was such a struggle. I've been sick for two weeks now and I had the worst coughing fit last night. I didn't get any sleep. So in the middle, I was in the shower. I don't know if y'all felt the energy of me just like ready to get the f ASAP, but it was, it was getting pretty bad in there. So after I got out of the shower, I put clothes on and went straight to Starbucks. I was like, I need something to heal my soul. <laughs> please, Jesus, please. So I have my latte and um, we can get started with the hair tutorial. Okay, so I just, I threw on one of these. These are from Cantu. They have like a whole hair accessories line. So I usually just throw this on if I need to go somewhere um, and then maybe like a hoodie on, on top just so I can be like full incognito. Um, but my hair is about, I would give it 50% dry. So I'm going to actually um, put in the leave-in conditioner. So uh, the leave-in that I have is from Pattern as well. And this is the leave-in conditioner. It says define and moisturize. Great for curlies, coilies, and tight textures. When your curls need lasting hydration and definition, a velvety leave-in conditioner that seals curls with a replenishing moisture lotion to combat dry dryness and enhance curl patterns. Whew, I can't breathe. Um, also works on dry hair to, fly to tame flyaways and offer a light hold. And it says to apply on soaking wet, conditioned hair evenly. Um, God, I'm like pro ingredient. There's biotin, jojoba, uh, castor seed, avocado, olive, tea tree, honey. A lot of good stuff in here. Um, I got all the travel size products at her event, which was so lovely. It was such a beautiful event. I want to get all the full size products, but I just wanted to get the video up and get my hair done anyway. So let's add, um, let's do, so, it's pretty good for this section. It smells really nice. Um, it smells like, Oh man, what is that scent? It's like honey, like honey and flowers. I would give it a floral, a floral honey scent, but it's not strong, it's not heavy, and it just, it smells just really good, like really fresh. I don't know any hair products that actually smell like this, to be honest. And my hair does feel soft. Um, I think this would be a really great kind of base for a curly product. So if I were to put like any of the curly um, lotions or gels that she has, would be great to layer. But since I'm not wearing my hair curly today, I think this is gonna be really nice and light for my blowout. To aid in my blowout, I'm taking the Orbe. This is straight away smoothing blowout cream. I always use this to blow my hair out because it really helps to extend the blowout and it helps me, um, it helps to like lock in moisture. It's nice and thick. 
So this isn't the type of product that I would use if I were to, um, if I wanted to straighten my hair because my hair's so fine that I have to be very careful um, on what products I use to layer because if I use anything too heavy and end up straightening my hair, which I actually have not straightened my hair in, like straightened to wear it straight, I don't even know the last time, but I have to use really thin, thin products because my hair's so fine. It'll all just stick together or get really like gross. So I'm using the shower brush just to detangle. I actually really like this brush. I just think that it was a little much for my um, coils in the shower. Like the bristles are so close together. But um, after I finger detangled, it made it so much easier for the brush to glide through my hair. I just think that you have to really either use a wide tooth comb or finger detangle before you use the brush or you're gonna basically have no hair. <laughs> if you have coily hair like me, if your hair is like really, really, really curly like mine, you're gonna have some problems. So I'm just gonna go around my whole head with this. Um, I'm not gonna be super chatty video because I can barely, can barely breathe. <laughs> So we have our twists in. I'm, um, should I start in the front since I started in the front? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm just gonna, and then I also have a clip from Pattern Beauty. I love these claw clips. They're so underrated. So I was really excited to get one in the bag. This, it's probably one of my favorite <laughs> items that I got in the bag is the clip. I just love clips, I don't know what that is. Okay, so I'm gonna do half and half. Makes it easier for me to, Blow. I'm actually gonna use this brush because I like how dense the bristles are. It's gonna really help me to uh, to get a good smooth, smooth blowout. I mean, nothing's gonna be as smooth as combs on the on the blow dryer. Like that's the smoothest you're gonna get is the comb attachment. It's flawless that way. Okay, so the blow dryer that I'm using this is from GHD. It's a Model Air One. I don't know. That's what it says. <laughs> On the label thing um, I like to do it on full blast and on a medium heat especially in the front where my hair is much finer I don't want heat damage there when I get to the back I might put on a higher heat maybe not though just because it's all going up into a ponytail anyway so is it really do I really need like that kind of sleekness I don't, I don't know I would like to very quickly add that the brush did exactly what I thought it was going to do because it's so tight, like the bristles are so dense, it really helped to pull my hair to like really elongate it and that's what I thought it was going to do and that's what it did, so yay. Okay, that feels really good. My hair feels really, really nice and soft, like smooth, still feels moisturized. I am impressed. So again, we twist to get it out of our way. And um, then we can move around to the next section. I'm actually just gonna do the rest off camera because it is just a blowout. It's not that serious. So <laughs> I'm gonna do the rest on ca off camera and then I'll be back when my whole head is dried. Okay, so my hair is blown out completely. I am in love with the thickness and the length that I, it's so healthy, it's so soft, it's so soft. I'm like, wow, wow. It feels like, it feels like a polyester blend. Yes, wow, hmm, Whoo. So since we got all that together, um, I like to do a little something because I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail, like a nice high top ponytail. My hair, this is the ponytail here, which you guys are gonna be like, that's not your hair color. That's fine, because we're gonna spray it, and it's gonna match. I 
like to, this hair has a little bit of texture to it. Honestly, it has a little bit of tooth, little texture. Um, but I want to smooth my hair out just a little bit more. So I have this, it's an Ion Copper Deluxe flat iron and uh, we're gonna put this on 250. So it's on really, really low. And it's not, I don't wanna straighten my hair. I'm more so interested in making it look a little bit smoother. So that way when the light kind of hits it, it just looks a little bit smoother and not as textured. But I'm not trying to straighten it or anything like that. So I'm gonna take some pieces. Just start out in the front and I'm not going to really do even just the middle. It's more so just what's going to be seen when my hair's up. So I'm going to take some of this way. It's memory mist. It has a heat protectant and it also helps to keep and hold the style. So I spray a little bit of that. And I'm going to take this comb and I'm just going to boom. And I find that it this gives me absolutely no heat damage whatsoever. Helps to sleek in my hair. Um, and 250 is the perfect temperature. So we're just gonna keep doing that and just go around the perimeter just to smooth everything out. Yeah, I don't think I necessarily, I don't think I need to do the back. Yeah, it, it's pretty flat back there. It's flat enough. Okay, I think that's good. So this is just a weed ad double wide tooth comb. Woo! Okay, she is thick. Ah, wowzers. Okay, done, that's the tutorial. I'm so tired. <laughs> Got this new brush from Oribe. It's a paddle brush. It's an Italian something something paddle brush. I'm excited to try it. Uh, okay, so we have Way Medium Hairspray. This is what I use to slick my hair back. Oh, my shoulders, okay. And the key to me doing this is layers. So, go back in. And I don't know why this works, but it does. And this is way better than me using a gel or like a water-based anything. Because my hair doesn't revert and it just sleeks it down. Sometimes I like to put some on the brush. Like I said, I don't know why it works, but it does. Okay, so we have a ribbon scrunchie. Ooh, this is the hard part. Um, let me just do this, that. And then get this around whole thing and then okay we go one more you can ha 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 <laughs> okay all right with like the once over and then just taking a scarf like a satiny scarf this lays 
for this part is I am conflicted because usually what I do is I sew I braid it and then I sew um, the hair around in a spiral so you don't actually end up seeing my hair but because this ponytail is not it's a wrap around it's gonna be a little bit harder so I am probably just going to do this so I'm gonna we're gonna try it this is all new because I have not tried this ponytail yet I literally just got it so let me make sure it's not gonna unravel I think that's good actually I like we got to take the scarf off because I can't see what I'm doing okay so we have the ponytail here this is from insert name here um, it's Japanese Kanekalon, and um, it's, I think, 20 inches. It's the Maya, or Mia, ponytail. So it basically has this Velcro. This is the inside of the ponytail. So you have the inside here. It has a comb attachment, and then it has Velcro that you will to secure around and then this extra piece here is what you're going to wrap around to hide the velcro so i'm gonna just take the comb attachment and stick it right here just like that and then i'm gonna take the velcro piece this is also gonna help me to really get my ponytail nice and tight too Take the Velcro piece, and then we're gonna wrap. Okay, I. <laughs> okay, um, hold on, let me. Oh, you know what? All right, all right, all right. I just figured it out. So we're gonna stick. If you look at the back here, <laughs> we're gonna do this. Just like that. If you if your hair is longer, um, Godspeed. That's what we're gonna do. Gonna wrap it that way. I'm gonna try it like this first and see what happens. So we'll have like this sort of situation. And then with that extra piece that comes with it that we're gonna use to cover. Let me get it nice and smooth. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. Some bobby pins. One's like a bobby pin, the other one's just like a regular hair pin. Okay, it's looking cute already. Hold on. So this is going to work. This needs to get the f Okay. This curl! I just want to leave it like this. We're done. Um, let's spray. And then smooth. Go around. Spray again. Smooth. And then we can tuck it in here in the back, just like that with the pins. Let's let her loose. Wait, that's not bad. And you cannot see. Let me turn around. If you feel insecure about this hump situation, what you can do is spray and it should stick or you can pin some of the hair that's in the middle that's like closest to it. You could pin it down. I'm not insecure about it. I feel like it feels fine. Okay, so since my hair, it's the right she, it's the right uh, tone. I like the ashiness of it, but we need to fix the color so I'm taking this is from Rita Hassan it's a light brown root concealer touch-up spray and I'm gonna spray it a little bit so that it blends a little bit more I don't mind it being blonde it just needs to be a little bit more brownish at the base do you see what I did there 
Now the tone is still a little bit off and that's just based off of me having such a cold toned hair color. That's just what, it's just what we have. It's just what we're working with. It's what God gave me. Um, so this hair can be straightened, curled up to I think 450, but that seems extremely excessive. So we're gonna do 280. Just to get that kink out. And it works! Yes! Ooh, hey! Well, this hairstyle was quite the process from beginning to end. You guys got to see the full, the full thing. Yeah, that's perfect. I like the subtle, like there's highlights within it. There's so much dimension. It's not just like a one color, which I think makes it look so good. You know that hump in the back? I just like, I like a little extra insurance. So I'm going to pull this all up, just grab what's kind of towards the bottom, closest to the hump. And then we can just, I'm gonna go sideways with it just to lock it in. That way it's just covered. That should be a lot better. And then it'll just fall. This ponytail's fire though, I'm not gonna lie. And then we're gonna do some edge control gel. This is from Kiss. It's the Argan Macadamia Edge Fixer. It's the only edge control gel that works for my hair and actually keeps it looking good. So I'm just gonna There we have it, a ponytail. But it's cute and it was easy to kind of just put on. It's nice and sleek. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That is pretty much, that's the end of the video. I thank you all so much for watching. I want to know what you guys think down below. What are your thoughts? Leave your comments. I'll be reading through them. I love you all so much. Thank you all for watching and until next time guys, bye.